everyone welcome back to another beautiful sketchbook sundays happy sunday to all you guys out there wherever you are around the world and happy easter to those of you that actually celebrate the day i hope you're having a wonderful day wherever you are um it's a beautiful day in the neighborhood okay it's a beautiful day in the neighborhood it's nice and warm and beautiful but besides that we're going to be painting something fun today uh yeah from one of my favorite shows it's one of my favorite characters from the hit show well as far as i'm concerned the hit show sanderton um it's like a period show you guys know i love period movies and period shows and all the things so we're gonna be painting one of the beautiful characters from that show of course black girl magic she's one of the very few like characters of color in that particular show georgiana georgiana Okay, Georgia, Georgiana. <laughs> so yeah, I hope you guys are doing well. Yes, indeed. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get into it and we'll chat some more about the supplies and all the things. If you happen to be on the replay, I'm gonna be putting some timestamps and a lot of other goodies for you guys to be able to jump around and get to where you need to get to. If you're here in the live chat, my mod is not here today. So, in her absence, I won't be able to see all of the chat and answer all the things. But if you have a question, go ahead and post them below. And I will definitely get to it. And um, in between, we're going to have like little break periods where we're like drying the painting and stuff like that. And it's going to be so much fun. Okay? <laughs> so, let's get into it. Yes, indeed. Yeah, so let's move my little camera over. There she is. So this is our character for today. Georgiana. Georgiana. Okay. She's beautiful and gorgeous and all the things. So this is like, uh, and of course I had to get put on my like African wrap here when I was Sunday evening. And I was really feeling the ancestors was calling my name today. I feel like I wanted to put in my African rap. Um, yeah, I'm excited. <laughs> I'm really, really pumped. I have so much to talk about, so many things to tell you about my week. Let me know down in the comments how was your week, what's been going on with you. Catch me up. Of course, we're gonna be doing acrylic wash today, per usual, but you can use mostly any other medium, oil, acrylic, watercolors, you can substitute that and use whatever that you have available and or just have fun you can put us on in the background have fun do all the things um it's gonna be an exciting day in the neighborhood okay sis oh oh and omg okay so let's go back to where i was oh yeah yeah okay so let's jump into it um, of course, I have my regular materials, but I will be listening below in case you guys are wondering about them. And of course, my favorite brush in the whole wide world is the um, black velvet brush. This is a natural brush. Um, it I It's like the best brush out there on the market, but they do have other alternatives for those of you that are not interested in that. And then we have all of these. I have different size brushes. To be able to do different size activities right that's super duper important as we kind of flow through and do all the things and then okay i have my 11 by 14 um arteza sketchbook right here this is 140 pound i believe so there's that and then i have a glass of water off to the side we need to have our handy dandy waters i'm gonna put all my brushes in there to get them ready and moist and ready to go. We also have my whole bind spray, yada yada, right? We gotta have the whole bind. We gotta have that going once. This is super duper important to have the whole bind. Um, it what well, it doesn't necessarily. Let's just say it doesn't necessarily need to be whole bind spray. It can be any little mist bottle to kind of mist your palette as you kind of mix things in and flow things in and do all the things. Okay. Oh, and I forgot to check my makeup. Last time I was live, girl. <laughs> I'm talking to y'all like y'all right here with me. 
Last time I was live, it was absolute insanity, okay? Last time I was live, the thing decided, I, my lipstick was like, oh, let me go ahead and smear all over your teeth. It was like, oh my God, it was like the worst thing ever uh, to have that stuff smeared all over your, te your teeth. <laughs> I was like, why, 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 why are you doing this to me? Why is it happening? Why is it happening? All right. That's what I was like saying to myself. Why is this happening to me? But yeah. <laughs> it's absolutely, and then I'm going to use a little bit of palette knives on, on what I was talking about. I'm going to use a little bit of palette knives and all the things to go ahead and mix my colors. But you don't necessarily have to use that. It's an additional step. I actually have a new palette out today that I'm going to use to kind of put my colors out. And of course, the stars of the show, which is our acrylic, uh, yada, 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 right? Our acrylic Holbein paint. Now, if you guys know the history of like art, like I'm really into art history. I'm like super duper into that and all the things, right? So if you really know the history of art, Holbein, his name was Hans Holbein. He was an actual court painter. He was a painter for Henry VIII back in the 15th century or 14, whatever it is, 16th century, 1538 or something like that. He was an actual painter. So he was, I think he was like a Dutch painter or like that was the first time they had actually had some French painters come in and he set the world on fire he painted all his wives all his whole court he stayed there throughout most of his life painting all of the royals which is super duper exciting that's like i, I mean that's i think that's like the best job you could possibly want or have if you decide to even go into something like this you know what i'm saying so anyway so it was funny to me um but then holbein they just, it's a Japanese company, but it's actually based off of the painter from the 15th century. So it's not originally Japanese. Um, so I thought that was an interesting fact that I wanted to share with you guys. You guys know I love art history and all of that stuff. So I had to kind of share that and get, get y'all together. Okay. <laughs> okay. So I'm using the regular colors like I usually use. Burnt Sienna. Um, my Diox Purple or Violet, whatever you want to use, and Magenta, Quinacrylone Magenta. I'm actually using that as a substitute for red. You can use that. Um, you can use red if you don't have Magenta. And then, of course, I'm using my Ultramarine Deep. And then, I actually had to go out and you got to have some white gouache. I'm using, I may use some of this yellow. I'm not even sure about that. And then, I'm having uh, some. I actually went out and got me some, um, cause I ran out of paint, believe it or not. That's like the number one thing that you'll actually run out of first. And that's the white gouache. You will run out of that so quickly. So I actually went out and bought me some of the white, what is it called? The white, um, Cotman, whatever watercolor. And this is kind of going to do too. So I'm going to use some of this. Because I actually ran out of white gouache. That's funny. Yeah. Gonna get a kick out of that. However, it's not gonna be as pigmented. It's not gonna have be like titanium white, white gouache, which is gonna be super duper opaque, right? So that's kind of what you gotta think about. Um, but I just need some sort of white in order to like fluctuate in between my colors and do all the things. And I'm gonna put out magenta. I'm just putting out all my colors. 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 Okay. And I actually have two bins of water here off to the side. Mm. So, Georgiana, you guys. Georgiana. Okay. My gal. Georgiana is a character from the show Sanditon. If you don't know what Sanditon is, it is a period show on Amazon Prime. Okay. So I'm putting out like a little bit of everything. And I'm actually going to do like a, a dark mixture. Because I actually need a black. So I'm going to put a, quite a bit of blue out there. This is going to last me um, quite a bit of a way. 
as we kind of flow through this painting. And you guys know my favorite combo, which is Burnt Sienna. And, um, that, which is Burnt Sienna. Okay. I'm pulling a dollar per daisy, a dollar per <laughs> Burnt Sienna, okay? So we're going to put a, a dollar per Burnt Sienna. And, what else? Let's see. Um, okay, so I have um Diox Purple Violet and then we have some Ultramarine there. I have Burnt Sienna and then I need to have my two yellows. I always have like two warms, two cools, you know, two reds, whatever, whatever what you want to call it. Um We did not need that much yellow. I don't even use this yellow that that often. Again, this is really, really pigmented. So we don't really need to do a lot of it. And the reason why I'm putting this out while we're on camera, and if you happen to be on the replay, you can go ahead and speed through this. The reason why I like to put this stuff out on camera, put two dollops of that, because I usually use a lot of burnt sienna. I mean, um, yellow ochre. We're going to spray it. This is where your spray bottle comes in handy. Spray it, spray it, spray it, get it moist. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Alright, and then you have it nice and moist, nice and nice and cute. Cute. Okay. Turn this down just a smidge. Woo -hoo -hoo. Do 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 do. Okay, and here we go. And down, 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 down. <laughs> All right, so now that we have some jams kind of going on in the background, I'm going to mix this a little bit. And you see that burnt sienna... See that burnt sienna? And this is where the um this palette knife really comes in handy. It's gonna help you out. You don't have to dirty your brushes. And that's gonna give me a black, right? It's or at least a dark brown. It's like really just a dark brown. And that's gonna give me the different values that I need. To do the hair and do all sorts of things like i would say you guys um as best if you work and then have some sort of like rag or something off to the side and i would say you guys it's best to work dark to light but i always go and i'm gonna wipe that off i always go and i we want to get like this initial coat, which is, hold on, you guys. We want to get this initial coat, and that is, um, wait, hold on, hold on, hold on. Yeah. I was like, what is going on? <laughs> yes. So we want to get this initial coat kind of down pat before we do anything else, right? So of course I'm laying down. Uh, wiping my page off, and I'm gonna start from her hair. So I'm gonna start from her hair, and kind, and we're gonna kind of work our way down the mountain swath. Right? Okay, that's what we're gonna do here. We're gonna work our way down the mountain swath. All right. So I'm gonna get a a a good wash, but this is gonna be a clean wash, meaning it's just water at this point. And that's just to get the get things moist so we're not having any issues and stuff like that. But that is, I'm gonna bring this down a little bit. You can kind of see what's going on. I'm gonna hold my palette in my hand off to the side. Let's go ahead and wet that. Wet, wet, wet. wet, wet, wet. It's a 
beautiful day outside, you guys. So I hope you out there enjoying yourselves, doing your thizzing. And I see you guys. Hey! Leo Lady is in the chat. How are you? Yes. Yes, indeed. Hello. And welcome. See, we just getting started. Welcome. How are you? Yeah, I always want to know how are you guys doing? What's been going on? Oh, wait. I need to put some, put some more burnt sienna out. Burnt sienna is my fav favorite color. I hope you guys are enjoying your Easter. If you celebrate... I want to know what are you doing what are you up to what are you watching out there you guys know i always want to know what you're watching of course look we're painting something from my favorite show sanditon oh so back to the favorite show hold on we wet this already so we wet that up a little bit and i'm just gonna dig in here because i don't want it to be as dark as this value right here I put a little, you know, I just only put a little bit. Because my hair is pretty dark. But we don't know, we don't need to go super dark right away. You know what I'm saying? We need to have some sort of uh, variation. And again, like I always tell y'all, you know, be careful with that stuff. And then we just dabbing it in. Now, you see how dark that looks already, right? And if you don't even like, say you don't want it to be that dark, right? You can always drag off the excess into your brush. Of course, if you guys have any questions, put them below. I will try to answer. And you can even dab. You can go dab. Dab it, honey. Dab it. Because remember, it's already wet, right? It's already wet from what kind of what we was doing already. Guys, no, I love to start with uh, mm -hmm. guys, no, I love to start with the hair that brings me joy. And it just makes sense so you're not like dipping your hand into the into the mess, you know? So I'm being really loose with this. It's just like, you know, let's wiggle that down, wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. I'm being really loose with it. She has a lot of curls and stuff like that. So, kind of back to the show, what I was talking about. Um, hey, hi. Looking forward to another masterpiece. Thank you so much, guys. I love you guys so much. I hope you guys are doing well and having a good day. Um, so, yeah. Um, this is a show that I actually found on... Now, I'm starting with, like, a lighter color. You guys know I like to do that um, because I wanted to, to, like, serve as a good base. And 
And in this, um, she has this, she has the good, beautiful, like curly, naturally curly, like wavy hair. The funny thing that I love about this show, because most period pieces, first of all, they don't, they don't feature African-American women. But the fact that they featured an African-American woman in this period piece, 2022, and on top of that, they left her with her natural African hair, right? They didn't like, you know, try to whitewash her or like water her down or whatever. But that was just one of the things that I really, really enjoyed about that, um, about the show, that I am enjoying about the show. Again, it's on Amazon if you guys want to check it out. Amazon... Um, and I have a PBS, of course, I would have a PBS, um, uh, what is it, a subscription? <laughs> you know how, like, you have a subscription to Disney? I have a PBS Masterpiece Theater subscription, okay? Yes, I do. Don't judge me, okay? I do. I have a PBS Masterpiece Theater subscription, okay? Because, why? Because it makes sense. Make it make sense, sis. <laughs> like, make it make sense, sis. Like, why, why you got a, a, a PBS anything? But anyway, right? So, but you know what? I, why I'm not surprised about that is because I'm not surprised because PBS has been known to put out some inspirational documentaries. I mean, they put out The Roots, for God's sakes. I remember The Roots came out in, like, 1985 or something like that. Or maybe, it's like, yeah, it had to be in the 80s, whatever, right? I was really, really little when The Roots came out. The Roots, honey, that is, like, super traumatizing. I'm going to tell you that right now. Uh, <laughs> we're not even going to get in to The Roots being traumatizing, okay? All right, so we, I'm kind of happy with her hair. This is just the first coat. We laid it down really loose. It is like brown, da 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 da, whatever, right? We can always go back in with another coat while that kind of dries and gets its life. You know what? Matter of fact, let's dry it, okay? Let's go ahead and get out our handsy dandy blow dryer. And we're going to dry it. And as we blow dry it, I don't have no way. I can't mute you guys. So I hope you're ready. <laughs> And let's go. One, two, three. Boom, and we're back and better than ever. So as you can see, I kind of went in, right? We're dry. And then now we can kind of concentrate on the first, the face, and not worry about any sort of weird activities going on with the face, okay? Okay. <laughs> So, back to the story that I was telling you guys. Um, like I said, I'm not surprised that PBS kind of put out this sort of activity. I'm not surprised about that. Because PBS, like I said, put out Roots. And that was like super traumatizing. But it was an inspirational and important documentary to be put out there. Because that opened so many people's eyes as to the atrocities of slavery and all the things. I'm not trying to get deep on... Uh, it's a Sunday, but y'all know what I'm talking about, okay? Um, all right, so let's kind of start with the eyes. I'm going to start with the eyes, kind of make my way around. And I'm starting with the eyes because it just makes me feel better just to pop things in right away. And I'm not sitting here looking at the blank eyeball. <laughs> looking at the blank eyeballs, Okay. <laughs> All right, so let's get our palette back out. And I'm going to 
going back in with the same dark color. As you can see, I use the same palette mostly all the time. Same dark color. She has a dark brown eye. Dark, 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 dark brown eye. So we're going to go from left to right. So that makes sense. Ooh. There you go. It makes sense because I am right-handed. So it makes sense. Go left to right. Too wet, so I'm gonna drag some of the excess off. Just not bleed. So I'm not sitting here bleeding to death. Hopefully, um, I'm live. You're going to hear all sorts of craziness going on in the background. <laughs> My son is, is working on some sort of project. Feeling is all done. Yes, Roots was traumatizing. You hear me? That thing right there. Boy. And I was like, I don't even know how old I was during that time. I think I was like... I was like eight years old. No, was I eight? I don't even know what, how old I was, but I was very young when Roots came out. And if you don't know, uh, <laughs> black grandmas, my grandma was like, oh, we're going to watch this this um thing or whatever. I think it's going to be really educational. It's going to be a good thing for you. Da, 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 ba, 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 ba. And... I was like, oh, okay. All right. So as you can see, really quick, you can see I'm leaving like little bits of white to to like stand in for the highlight. And you can do that with watercolor. Now, if you happen to do, you can't really do it. It doesn't look right if you do it with acrylic because um, it just doesn't, right? Um, You could just put the highlight on top with like a little bit of like or white or whatever. Um, or maybe a blue, whatever, right? We will leave it up to your judgment, sis. So yeah, um, Roots was absolute insanity. Like I was looking at it today, matter of fact, because I was actually looking it up. Because I was like, you know what? Uh, sometimes you know these kids are too spoiled. They don't know like what you know for real, for real. I think so much is, is available these days and so much it's like they don't really know what the what the real real is, right? So anyway, I digress. Um mm -mm.
anyway, so I was looking for it, looking for it, looking for it, looking for it. And um, as I was kind of looking for roots, I was like, this turned into a whole conversation about roots, but go with it, right? Um, as I was kind of looking for roots or whatever, I'm just putting like, um, what is it? I'm just putting our So anyway, I was looking at, um, as I was kind of looking through it or whatever, uh, it was showing like Chicken George and, and all the craziness that was going on and, um, and I think they had a daughter or something like that. And then the daughter got sold to like some other guy. And oh my God. Woo, child. I was like, wait a minute. I can't even handle it anymore. <laughs> I was like, I still can't handle it. So I was like, you know what? I don't think I'm going to show my kids that. Sorry. I was like, I can't do it. I was like, no, ma'am. We are not doing that. So anyway. This show here. Okay. Has some major league representation when it comes to African-American women and just African-American people, period. So... Without spoiling too much stuff, um, the show surrounds her. What well, doesn't surround her, but I mean, her story arc is basically she is a child, right? She's the product of a slave, right? A slave master relationship. She's the product of that, right? Um, and during that slave master relationship. Um, the, 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 the guy or the colonizer, whatever he is, her father decides that he doesn't, um, he don't like his colonizing ways and he's going to go ahead and he's going to free all the slave, the slaves, including her mother. And, uh, he's going to raise her as his daughter, right? Which is, we know this is fiction because that would have never happened in for real, for real, Right. I mean, look at uh, Sally. What is it? Sally? What is it? Sally something. Sally Smith. The woman that was with uh, George Washington. Was it George Washington? Yeah, whatever. Thomas Jefferson. One of them. The the woman that... The, the slave that was with him that had five kids for him. He still didn't let her go, right? Anyway. I digress, right? <laughs> Started to get into a rant. All right, let's let's zoom out as we we can kind of go through the story as we uh talk about it and yada 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 right. So, um, uh, I'm gonna mix up a little bit of gray. I'm gonna use the same thing that I have on my thing. A little bit of white right here, right here. Mix it up, mix it up. Oh, now then, uh, contaminated the white. Cool. Be careful of that. Make sure you wipe off your brush. You don't have no weird colors on top of it, so you don't contaminate your white. But I'm always interested in history and all these weird shows, you guys. That's, that's kind of where all of this stuff comes from. Anyway. We're going to go in with this gray. Why don't I have anything? Why didn't she have anything on her breath? I don't know. Don't 
guys know I always tell you every stream the, eye, the whites of the eyes Sally Hemmings yes Sally Hemmings that's who it is okay exactly Sally Hemmings okay so let me zoom in again Sally Hemmings for those of you that don't know is like a brief history lesson is she was the slave Which really, she was inherited, right? If you really think about it, she was inherited basically because that's that's what we was. We was like we was like cattle. We was like we wasn't even people, right? We was actually inherited. So if your if your mama died and I was still alive, I, you could inherit me like a dog. Okay, don't even get me started on that. Anyway, back to the show. Back to what I was talking about. Anyway, so she, Sally Hemings was inherited by Thomas Jefferson because he married, his wife had her as a, as a maid or whatever she was, that she was a slave maid, right? Um, so anyway, and then they, he ended up basically sleeping with her when she was like 14, 15, whatever she was, and, um, it carried on a, what, 30, 40 year relationship. And kept her, still kept her as a slave until the day she died. But he let the kids go in the end. Ugh, boy. Anyway, <laughs> that's so traumatic. That's like so traumatic. The trauma. The trauma. Who's ready for the trauma today? I mean, ready <laughs> for. All right, so we'll put a little bit of this dark, same dark color over here. I know what I say. So anyway, um, so yeah. Uh, that whole, how did I get in that whole conversation about, y'all know how, how my brain is, squirrel, okay? Uh, how did I get in that conversation about her? But anyway, oh, I was just talking about the, the comparisons. I was just comparing about the different stories between the real life, um, slave master relationship and the fictional one in the show. So anyway, in the show, this character, Georgiana, she actually inherits um all of this money from her slave master daddy right because she's half white half black so she re inherits all of this money but of course it's still they still have to depict real life and um you know but the the white people of society was not having it in the show right they're not having it they don't really they're not really happy that she has all of this money because, I mean, of course, she still looks like, she still looks black. But they still consider her a slave, right? So, anyway, I just love the show because she be giving them hell, honey. Okay? She be, she be kicking ass and taking names in this show. She don't, she don't be coming to play. And she be telling them, I got money, I can talk shit to you. <laughs> I mean... It's crazy. It is crazy. Crazy, crazy, crazy. Lots of drama in this show. I'm not going to spoil it for you guys because I hope you go watch it. Um, You know what I'm saying? Yeah, you can never forget all of that. So, all right. So, we kind of um did the eyes. I put the base down just to get something down where it's not just looking crazy. And... I'm going to put something in the hood of her eyes. Yeah, but she be giving them hell in this show. They're trying to marry her off. So many things is going on in the show, right? 
because my gal in the show she wants to Anyway, in the show, she wants to, um, she actually wanted to get married to the, there was a guy, there was a, like, an ex-slave, of course, they depicted this during the Victorian period, which slaves were, you know, um, slavery was outlawed, especially in England, slavery was outlawed at that time, but, um, he wanted to be with this ex-slave, but they want her to marry a white guy. Um, you know, because they want the white people or the white men during that society to actually inherit the money that her daddy left her. So it's like a whole drama because she's not having it. She don't want to marry. Um, she wants to marry, you know, her own, her own, her own guy. Like now, no man. <laughs> Uh, it's a good show. It's a good show. I've been I've been enjoying it. Been enjoying it. Okay, let's dry really quickly, and then we're gonna move on and do a, like a quick wash over her face. And yeah. And we're back and better than ever. <laughs> I say that every time we drive. <laughs> Girl, what is the show called? It's called Sanditon. Sanditon. I'm going to put it in the chat so you can see what I'm talking about. Sanditon. Sanditon. It's called Sanditon. Again, you can only get it, I think, through the PBS um, masterpiece. So that maybe that's probably why a lot of people haven't seen it. So you gotta have, I think, you gotta have a subscription, or they like let you see a couple of episodes beforehand. But yeah, it's really, really dope. I love it so much. Uh, okay, so let's move on, and I'm gonna put a little bit of like some color in her nostrils. And I really love period pictures, and I love history-type movies and things that depict strong black female characters. Especially, it's like it's basically almost like Bridgerton, but it has a way different um, storyline. It's not really centered around like gossip and stuff like that. So if you like Bridgerton, you'll like that. Do 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 do. I know where to get um, bootlegs. Oh, <laughs> do you? You need to let me know where to get it. I need to know. Yeah. Okay. Sus, you need to share the wealth. If you in the Discord, I put the Discord um thing up, I think. If you in the Discord, pop it in the chat and let us know. And go in general chat. Or you in the group on Facebook, let us know. 
like what's good what's really good because i need some nails she needs some nails okay hold on let me pop the discord um up in here again um Mm. Okay, cool, 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 cool. Good. So pop it in the um what's the name chat and let us know what's good. That's the Discord, y'all. For those of you that are not in the Discord, we're trying to grow it out and I'm doing more and more. Um to kind of get it together over there, okay? All right, so let's put a um a thing over her face, and I'll kind of tell you more and more about this storyline. But it's getting really, really spicy. They they really trying to get her to marry. They want her to marry. They I'm not even gonna say a white guy. They want her to marry rich. You know, back then they they married mostly as convenience for money, and as a woman back then, even as a whether you're a white woman or whatever, you had to really have some value, right? Like. Um, your value was wrapped up into whether you could have kids, whether you could marry, how beautiful you were, da 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 da, blah 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 blah. You know what I'm saying? All right, so let's get a little bit of a wash on her face. I'm gonna get my thing over here, okay? Um, gonna go in with that. My favorite combo. That yellow ochre. But she has a very, like, red-orange skin. I'm going in with this burnt sienna. Yellow ochre. And I'm going to wipe off my brush. You don't want it to be too dark, because you're going to go in really, really light in the beginning, right? Really, really light. Hmm. Do, do, do. Mm, 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 mm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, do, do, do. Okay. Again, I don't want it to be really, I don't want it to be too dark. I just don't. Because I want to be able to have room to kind of maneuver around and do whatever I want to do. Without feeling like I'm bogged down into like one particular color. Um, Because you know how this stuff can like build up really, really quickly, you guys. Hmm. I'm going in really loose, really whatever, just doing things. I'm basically like almost dry brushing this stuff on her face. Here. I don't like how brown, like watered down that is. I'm gonna try to catch it before it dries. Now this is really watered down. I have a lot of water right here, so this is gonna dry really light.
And this part over here is like just a lot of water. Alright, we here banging. My son got a new project. And it's like for excavating. Something on the Discovery Channel, like excavating like gemstones. It's really, really cool. Uh, okay. <laughs> Go away. <laughs> anyway, so yeah. Uh, it's for excavating like gemstones. So you'll hear him banging in the background. Uh, doing the most. I'm periodically spraying my palette because I don't want it to get all weird and moist. <laughs> Uh, yeah. go in with this little shadow Going in with the shadows. Then I'm kind of smoothing out those like jagged edges up right over here. But she has to have some sort of shadow underneath her neck. Like, because, I mean, you do end up having some sort of shadow under that, right? Shadow underneath the neck.
So, and then we're going to go back in with that same kind of like brown color that's on her face. That same brown color that's on her neck. Same brown color on the neck. You know, I was thinking about, I wanted to do some sort of, um, like, movie night. Well, we could do, like, a, a night where... We watch shows like that. For th that's for those of you that's interested in shows like Sanditon or whatever. I'm putting the same color down here. Same colors down here. Okay.
Okay, I got quiet for a minute because I needed to work quickly, you guys. Um, yeah, we had to. <laughs> Whoa, we had to go. We had to go quickly and uh, hyper speed so things don't just start drying and 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 acting crazy and whatever, whatever. Okay. So yeah, um. I think I'm actually... What episode am I on? Does this have, like, two seasons? I don't even remember. Oh, yeah. Matter of fact, they just released the second season. The second season of this, uh, of this show. Mm. Alright, let's do her ear. Too much water. Too much water. I always forget about them ears, y'all. <laughs> if I could like eliminate the ears altogether, I would. Yeah. I would. We could eliminate the eyeballs. <laughs> I mean, the earlobes. I would. I would. There's a little, we got a little clavicle action going here. Just putting in my little, my little, what's the name? Alright, we're gonna do her lips a little bit. Mmm. Actually, I'm gonna put another coat um, in her hair. Because again, her hair is really, really dark. We're just gonna go right in. And I'm doing mostly just like the roots, right? And I'm going right back in, doing a little swirl. Again, I like the fact that they kind of left her... Her, like, original texture and stuff like that. I really enjoy that about it, that they left that there. The original texture, honey. I'm just going in to... You see, I want to leave a little bit of that kind of like brown at the top to give it that feel like it's having some sort of sunlight or something kind of hitting off the top of her hair. So that's kind of why I'm leaving it like that. But I mean, you can do the whole thing in the dark color if you want it that, that way. You don't have to follow kind of what I'm doing, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. All right. 
Okay, so let's dry again, you guys. We're gonna dry it and love it and like it. I'm gonna take my reference photo off. I feel like it's gonna be getting wet in a minute. It's getting in my way. Put it over here somewhere, honey. Go over there and live your life. Live your best life, Georgiana. Go and be. <laughs> And be married, Georgia. Okay. Alright, so we're going to dry it. And while we dry it, if you're loving the live stream, don't forget to hit the like button and share it. Love it, like it, all the things. Because it helps a sister out in the algorithm. That way people know what's going on. And they know how to find my videos. I love you guys so much. Hold on. Alright, let's dry <laughs> All righty then. All right, let me turn this up just a minute so you can. I feel like it's a little too dark. A little better. Do, do, do. All right, cool. So we're dry, all the things. You want to make sure it's kind of cool to the touch. You definitely want to make sure you let it cool down before you continue on and all the things. You know, go take a walk, all the stuff, and then you can kind of come back to it with kind of fresh eyes, feeling like whatever, right? Feeling good about yourself. Huh? Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. Alright, so I'm going back into my brown. I kind of want to fill in the spot, right? La, 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 la. <laughs> so you better. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So anyway, um... After I've been watching this show, and I actually finished up, like, the... I think we're on the fifth episode, season two. And I'm not giving any spoilers for those of you that want to watch the show, but... Um... It's really, really great. <laughs> uh, so much drama going on. I was like, ugh. And, you know, a fifth... They wouldn't have... A, it wouldn't be a 15th century, whatever, picture or period picture without Pete. Somebody getting poisoned... Or cheated on, or some craziness happening. Uh, I think. Or have gray on my. Have gray on my brush. And you know, as um wash dries, it's going to lighten up quite a bit.
gonna, it's gonna lighten up quite a bit. I'm going in with another coat just to kind of reinforce what we already have. And you can still see underneath kind of like what we already put down so you get those that depth and shadow. That's why layers is really, really important. And And I really like her curls. I really love them. That's like one of my favorite things about her. Curls and all the things going on in there. Alright, cool. Cool. I'm very happy with that. Y'all. Looks great. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> All right, so let's do her lips. Of course, it's a period picture, so she's not going to have on a lot of makeup. She probably does have on makeup, but it's very little. Very all natural. I mean, even in, like, the product photos, you can still see, like, her natural skin. Um, you're not going to see a lot. So, in order to do, like, a natural kind of, like, lip, Gonna get, I'm going to get brown, so it's going to be similar to her skin tone. Except, you know, your upper lip is always going to be a little darker than your bottom lip. Yada, yada, yada. Okay. Not playing around. So we're going to go in with like a dark brown. We're going to do that top lip. And... Now make sure you're happy with the color and all of that stuff. You definitely want to make sure you're happy with the color, huh? That's a little too... Uh, and I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna do like the corners are gonna be dark. And it's gonna have like um quite a bit of magenta for like the middle parts of it. And then like you know the corners are always gonna be a little darker than anything else. Then you can go back in with like the dark. All right, so then we got that top lip kind of popped in. The bottom lip is quite pink, right? So then we're just going to go in with some pink. Like a pinkish, a pinkish brown. All right, so we're going to go in with a pinkish brown, a little bit of... And we want it to be quite light, right? So we're going to add a little bit of white to that, the Chinese white that I have right there. And we're going to make it really, really light. Uh, 
then I'm going to actually add more lighter color. The lip is white pink. Really pink. Yeah. It's okay if it's too like if it's too light. You can always go back in if you need to get like more color or whatever, right? You can always go back in. Go back in. In Shwala, honey, Shwala. That's good for like a little bit of a whatever you call it, like a base. Careful of like how much water you have on your brush because that, that will be a major league killer. I'm going in like reinforcing that that uh whatever we call it the line. All right. I'm gonna get a little bit of what's oh, like a that's like pearl gold here. Yeah. Oh, girl. Yeah. I'm pearling your life. Gonna look more green than anything. I, I think some like golden. Before the day and before the year is out, I'm gonna have y'all fully into period movies. <laughs> uh, y'all gonna be harassed, y'all into like watching every period movie knowing the man. <laughs> I need somebody to watch it with me, okay? Somebody needs to watch it. Alright, let's um put a coat on her dress. 
And then we're going to dry everything and we're going to go back in and continue to do like these different layers and kind of that we're doing. And am I like dripping? Like camera ready? I swear to God, every time I go live, it's like I got. I got. That's the beauty of live, I swear to God. It's like I got lipstick on my teeth, uh, things dripping down my face. <laughs> Keep some wipes nearby too. It's, it'll, it'll help you out. Keep them wipes nearby. And get all the whatever off your hand. Look at all this stuff. Let's see. Paint. Drama. Trauma. <laughs> Drama and trauma. Oh my god. And I and then I had to pull back back out my weird microphone, y'all. My good microphone is I don't even know what happened to it. Well it can't be that good if it got messed up, right? <laughs> All right, so let's mix some colors for her dress and kind of get that popped in. Um, again, mostly white. We're doing a lot of white here. Very little. I'm just mixing white with in the mixture of all these different colors, and that's gonna give me like the light color of her dress, which is like a a, a cream type of dress. Very beautiful Victorian dress. And even that, I feel like it's going to be too light. I mean, too dark. Yeah, see that? That's really, really dark. So, I Now I added a little bit of white to that. There you go. But, I mean, we don't want it to be too dark, right? So we just add a little bit of like color to it, just to kind of make it make sense. You know what I mean? Make it make sense. Right? We don't really need it to be like super colorful. I mean, you can make it colorful, though. Like, if you want to change the color of her dress, like, say you do this, and you kind of want to change the color of her dress, then you can definitely kind of go in and, and whatever, right? You don't have to uh, necessarily go by what we're doing. But for the purposes of the beat, I'm gonna try to keep it as you know what I mean so up here I'm not gonna like do too much coloring right there because I want to maintain the white of that piece or whatever right so um so right here I'm gonna Kind of make it dark and leave the top and then i'm gonna like w wipe off my brush wash off my brush and then i'm gonna leave the top Ooh. all right let me pull out for a minute pull it out pull it out Ooh. Mm. back together here all right and then i'm gonna like go in and kind of like blend that out. I don't even know how you can see that, but I mean that's pretty much the end of the page. But yeah. You know, I might even make her whole dress like color like the um Oh, whatever. Ooh, so you guys know another thing that I've been kind of watching that's been super duper interesting.
Put a little bit here. And then we'll kind of pop some stuff in at the bottom. But yeah, another thing I've been watching is, um, what is the show called? It's called, uh, Queen of the South. Queen of the South on Netflix. Yes. Okay, I've been lapping that up. Lap it up, lap it up. <laughs> but then I had to, I had to kind of turn it off because it was getting a little violent. I was like, woo! People getting killed left and right. I was like, nah, sis, I don't know. I don't know how I'm feeling about it. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But I mean, what do you expect from like, it's supposed to be like a, um, like a, nar a narcotic show. Well, I don't even know how to explain it. Is it a narcotic show? It's like basically a queen of the South, like about these, this woman that's, um, they like used to be a drug dealer or it's based off a true story. I think of a woman that was like the queen pin. She was like a big time drug t dealer or whatever. Um, from Mexico. Yeah. So I think that's what it's based off of. All right, so you can, I mean, you can always add different colors to dress if you feel like it's too bland, too much going on, it's not beautiful enough, you know what I'm saying? You can add color to it if you feel like it's, it's not enough going on. Or you can just make, I, I mean, I want to make it yellow. I just might end up make, making it yellow. I don't know. I don't know yet. I don't know. We haven't figured it out yet. Yeah, I think I, I like the yellow on her. I don't know what it is, but I really like yellow and gold on African American skin, black skin. I think it looks really, really pretty to have like the the yellow and gold and all that stuff. Yes, indeed. All right, cool. We getting some sunlight. We getting some sunlight coming in, y'all. Let's bring her down a little bit. Save her from the sun. I save her from the sun. Right, cool. You have been saved. All right, so I'm gonna put like some gray. You know what? Let's try it. Let's. You know what? No, I need to actually put. I need to put. Yeah. Laid my um washcloth <laughs> in that water. Kind of full of water. Very nice. Very nice thing. Love it. Love to see it. All right. Um, I need to add a coat. Um, you can't see this, I don't think.
her arm right there. So I got I had to add the little piece to her arm. <laughs> ah, it's a detail. It's a detail. It's all about the details, honey. Okay. Had to. We had to. All right. Let's dry. All right. Let's go. Boom. And we're back. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. All right, cool. So we're dry. Now I'm going to put like some gray down onto her necklace. Too much water. Too much water. Okay, so I put a, a lighter gray in there. Lighter gray. Let me zoom in so you guys kind of see what's going on.
So you see, I put like like a gray base down because I wanted to be able to, you know, to go in. And add the white kind of when I'm ready. While I have it on my brush, I'm gonna go in. And a little bit here. Oh, let me zoom out so you can see what I'm doing. That would make sense, right? <laughs> mm. That would make sense. Alright, I gotta wipe this off. That's getting way too watery. I'm going in with I need like a darker color.
I'm adding another coat. In case you guys are wondering. Does it make sense? It's so easy to kind of add another code of something. I'm trying to be careful not to go too dark because she's not that dark, but she's darker than this. So we got to really just go in and really just think about that. All right, I gotta add some some brown somewhere. We we need like a lighter brown. Mm -hmm. Of course, we gotta mix a bit of like the burnt sienna and all the things. Some of that, a little bit of that.
Okay, I'm gonna get a little bit of white. I'm gonna like add it to her nose and all the things. We like slowly making progress. We are slowly but surely making progress. Depends on how realistic you want things to be too. Like if you want it to be super realistic, you can do super realistic. I'm just going in with some shadows right here. <laughs> and then of course the sun wants to shine and beam down her face at the same time. <laughs> uh, it's like let me help you out. Sir. Like, let me help you out. Now leave her forehead. So well, I'm gonna put it that area a little darker. I'm still just doing, we're doing a lot of like layers and reinforcing just in case I get quiet and you like, what is going on? Walk me through it. At this point, we're doing a lot of layering. That's what this is all about. Especially when it comes to gouache, it's going to be a lot of layering, a lot of all of that stuff happening. I'm going to get when you're dealing with that, right? That's pretty much what I'm doing at points. 
we are doing a lot of layering, darling. Lots and lots and loads and loads. I'm just putting the same color. In case you guys have any questions, let me know. I'm just putting the same color. In her chest area. In the blue bitch area, right? We're doing the same color. Get the boobs in there, yeah? That's all it is. Same color in the blue bitch. Layering and all that jazz. That's all it is. And I'm looking in the uh, camera too to see. What's going on? Do, 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 do. Right. We're making quite a bit of progress. I'm feeling where it's going. I'm loving it so far. Hopefully you guys are too. Yeah, a little bit. I don't know what it is. I don't know if I like her neck or something. I don't know. Even once we add like stuff in the background, I'll like her neck a little better. Something weird going on with the neck. It's not dark enough, but we made lots of progress. I'm loving how it's looking so far. Um, um I'm putting the dark spaces at the top of her face. I mean, uh, on her top, top eyelid. What I'm doing at this point. That's what I'm doing. A little bit of shadow underneath.
Do you see we just having like a nice, chill, beautiful Sunday? Doing a little bit of painting. I mean, as y'all can see, the key to this thing is you got to make sure that you're blending as you go. Blend as you go. Because, especially when you're dealing with acrylic, um, if you got acrylic paint and you got acrylic gouache, you got to blend as you go or else it'll just be like a hot mess. And you just be out here looking. A hot, hot mess. I got like several waters off over here to the side. Several waters. All right, I want to do something with the, what do you call it, the what's the name? <laughs> the what's the name, the eyelashes, that's what I want to do. Um, we're just going to pop that in, matter of fact. I'm actually going to go in. Right, you guys, I wonder if you actually could see that. Um, there we go. It's still like the the same dark color that I usually use. The same dark colors I usually use.
like let's define the ear a little bit Uh-oh. Yeah. Drama. <laughs> you might argue. Uh -huh. Oh my god. So the week I've had, you guys, has been absolute insanity. Okay. Y'all will never believe me. Crazy week that I've had. I went through like massive amounts of drama. I was, um, I joined this like group or whatever and it was like supposed to be all about gaming and whatever whatever you know like whatever specific interest you know they have the different groups on Facebook all the different interests and yada 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 and lo and behold okay it was nothing but drama. It was crazy shit going on. It was so much craziness going on. <laughs> in that group, I had to get out. I mean, people was in there. Are you? Why? What happened in your week? Yes. Um. It was crazy. Like, so I joined the group or whatever. This is story time, you guys. Hold on. And I'm like, okay, cool. We joined the group. It's all good. Um. You know, it's supposed to be like-minded people doing the same thing or whatever. So then they find out, you know, that I know how to do certain things, yada, yada, yada. And they ask me to kind of come in and help them, like, build their stuff up, blah, 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 blah. Help them out with, like, certain, like, their logo, just certain things. And, you know, I like to help people, whatever. So, of course, I didn't charge them or nothing. I just was like, okay, cool. You know, I'll do it a little, you know, when I can type of thing. Wait, hold on. Let's try. Let's try. All right, cool. We're back and better than ever. <laughs> oh my God. So, basically, after I joined the group, whatever, okay, we're dry, which is great. Now, I want to go in because remember, we put down that gray base to her necklace, and that's going to kind of serve as a base to the like little teeny tiny pearls that she actually has. One, of course, we're not going to get into too much detail with that because we that's not really the focus, right? We're just going to be trying to work on her face as much as we can, kind of figuring that out and get our lives together with that. Um, 
so yeah, I um I joined this group or whatever, and I'm trying to help them out to do certain things because they don't know how to do like certain things with like live streaming, yada yada yada, whatever. So you know, I go in, I'm helping. We get our lives together, and boom, right? As soon as I get in that that piece, I wasn't even in there a week. I start seeing the crack. And, and all the, the, the bullshit and the drama. And usually, I'm the type of person where I'm really, I, I like to keep a positive outlook on things. I love to help people. That's kind of why I started this channel and all that, right? Is to help people and do and do all the things. And, um, but what happened? What happened, you guys? Pissed me off so much. It caused me where now I got to talk about it. I don't even care, right? Because now they was doing too much, too much, too much. And it, 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 I wanted to serve as like a reminder on like how you should treat people, how you shouldn't treat, boop, treat people, especially when people are coming in to kind of help you and do things for you and yada, yada, yada. So anywho, um, as soon as I get in there, they start having drama. They like fighting back and forth. It's like 10 of them in on the team and and then one of them they like cursing each other. I mean like l straight on cursing each other out. Okay? Cursing each other out. And it's supposed to be about a game. It's supposed to be a fun group. They literally in here cursing each other out. The group um the woman the woman that runs the group he had no control over them whatsoever. They was in there acting like children, acting like totally crazy. And these people were in their thirties and forties. So that was like red flag number one. I was like, uh-uh. Mm-mm. I was like, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know how I'm feeling about this. This is feeling kind of weird. Feeling kind of shady. All right, let's put some stuff in the background. Let's kind of work on some background stuff. And then we'll we'll come back to the to this piece right here. So I was like, uh uh, it's feeling kind of shady, something weird going, kind of going on. But I like to give people the benefit of the doubt. I was like, I'm gonna stick it out, and we're gonna see what it's like. Da da da. da. You know, I like I like you, especially when it's our people. You know, when it's my people, and people asking me for help, I'm like, okay, cool. I'm gonna try to do the best I can to help you or whatever. But Again, when you join these groups and you do diff different stuff like that, and you join activities in the group, this is a free group, right? So it's a free group. It's, you know, no one's getting paid to do certain things in the group. You're only doing it because you enjoy the passion of it or whatever. So um, I'm just trying to figure out how to, how to just put it de delicately because it's just crazy. The amount of shit that was going on, okay? All right, so I'm going to put a little bit of this. This is supposed to, like, signify this little background piece. And it doesn't need... This is not going to be in focus, so, yeah. So it doesn't need to be, like, a thing. This is not going to be in focus. <laughs> okay. Um, so yeah. So I came in, kind of showed them, you know, how to do certain things, how to like whatever, whatever. And then she started getting demanding when she was like, DMing me, DMing us all day, all night, trying to force us to go to different meetings, da 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 da. Uh, then she got crazy and she was like, "Oh, well, um, if you don't come to every single meeting, if you don't come to these mandatory meetings, mind you, on a Friday night, the last straw for me was when she asked me to come to a Friday to a meeting on a Friday night." When I had other things going on with my family, right? 
So she kind of asked him to come on a Friday night when I had other stuff going on with my family. And take time out of my day to come and do stuff for her group. And she got pissed off. And decided that she was going to badmouth me to people. And talk about me like a dog to other people. Da, 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 da. Because she was pissed off that I told her no. Like... I have a business to run. I have other stuff going on. I got kids. I got my own personal things going on. I can't be in your group 24-7. Like, what? Like, I don't understand. Somebody make it make sense to me. I don't understand how people even operate. I just don't. Especially when somebody's coming in to kind of help you out. How do you badmouth them? Because they can't come into your group and do the things that you want them to do 24-7. Now, I mean, y'all tell me this. Would you... Would you spend a Friday night... Exactly. What sounds like... Like, name me. Exactly. So would you friend would you spend your Friday night when you're supposed to be out with your family members and you spending time with your family, your kids, and your boo and whatever, and you you think and somebody come and tell you that you need to show up for free and tend to her group and do whatever, whatever. Wow. The audacity. Okay? The audacity of it all. I just couldn't even, like, I couldn't even fathom what the hell she was even thinking about. Even, like, trying to force people to do something like that. And then she said she was gonna, like, <laughs> she said she was gonna give us a demerit if we didn't show up. Whenever she told us to show up. Like we was living in Nazi Germany. Like she's gonna come in. Like the Gestapo. And kill us if we don't show up to her meeting. I was too through. Too through. I mean the stress. The audacity. You cannot go in. Exactly. You cannot go in. I, you know, and, I, and it's like, these are grown-ass people. You cannot go and demand somebody's time. Especially when you're not paying them. You know what I'm saying? Like, I, I was just like too through with her, man. And then to bad mouth me, she got pissed. <laughs> she got pissed off. She was totally pissed off about it. That I didn't freaking show up to her fucking meeting on a Friday night when I'm out chilling with my family. Like, you bugging. You better get your life together, sis. Oh, you need to show up to my meeting. Oh, really? Do I now? I need to show up to your meeting, huh? I'm just going to put like a, a blue background, like a blue type sort of sky up here. Because, yeah. Just, uh... Yeah, she, she had some freaking nerve. And then meanwhile, she was asking me to help her out. And she got the nerve. Ooh. Look at that. Yeah. 
Like, she wants somebody to help her out. To fix her, her group and get it and get it into order. And that's how you treat people. You talking about stress? <laughs> I can't even begin to tell you about the stress that was going on. Okay? It was crazy as hell because she's abusing people but no money. Did you have the did you yeah, hell yeah, hell yeah. So you see my and my thing is I'm grown, right? So I'm not gonna sit there and argue with an ignorant uh grown person. I'm not gonna sit there and argue with the, with you at all, sis. So pretty much I left that group and went about my business. Um, I didn't even say nothing to her. Once she tried to impede on my personal time, when you when you tell me you have no regard for how how I'm how my, what my life is about, that tells me that you ain't rap too tight, and you're not somebody I want to deal with. That's not somebody I want to have around. You know what I'm saying? That is not somebody I want to be dealing with full time. You know what I'm saying? Woo! Man, that was stress. And thank God for the girl that was in there. That kind of let me know what homegirl was doing. Because it was absolute freaking insanity. Absolutely, um, absolute insanity. People being rude like that. And she got mad because I ain't want to come in there and, and and do some on my day. You know what I'm saying? Like on my weekend. Like really, sis? Hmm, no, ma'am. No, ma'am. No, ma'am. I don't think so. Especially if you trying to get some help with your with your activities and I'm over here volunteering. You know what I'm saying? Mm-mm. No, ma'am. <laughs> Oh man, that's too gravy. Oh hell no. I might just um be spending time with myself. My priority would have to come first. Exactly. Like nah. Nah, sis was bugging. She was bugging. I was like, uh uh. I was like, hell no. And I was like, first of all, I got my own group. I got my own group. I got my own shit going on. I got my own family. And I'm not taking away from my family time. To come uh, boost your stuff up? Like, really? And then, oh, and then let me tell you, the kicker was, right? Where the hell is my damn brush at? Where did it go? I'm over here gossiping. Don't know where the hell my brush went. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah. Uh, yeah, so the kicker was basically homegirl, um... Once people did get into the meeting or whatever, right? Once you got into the meeting with her, this chicken head was in there playing bingo. She called the mandatory meeting for you to come in there and play bingo on a Friday night. Bingo on a Friday night. I repeat, bingo on a Friday night as if we're in a nursing home. Okay? I ain't dead yet, sis. <laughs> okay I was pissed pissed okay to the umpteenth power I was not playing with her at all 
He tried it. Okay. Yeah, she a damn chicken head. In there playing damn bingo. Like, sis, you ain't got no man? You Do you need me to hook you up with somebody? Like, what? Like, what's good? Like, you ain't got no man? You ain't got... What? You ain't got no girlfriend? What? I don't know. Whatever your flavor is. You ain't got no spouse? You ain't got no partner? What? What's going on? That you calling people in there to play bingo on a Friday night? <laughs> you talking about piss? You talking about tight? I was tight. You in there playing bingo? You trying to get somebody to come in there and play bingo on a Friday night? Just stop it. Stop it right now. Just just go go in the corner. Just go away. Go in the corner. Get your life together. Gather your thoughts. Figure out your life. Okay? Because I'm not in the nursing home. And then, I, and then it was crazy because I don't even know her like that, right? Hold on. Let's dry. Let's dry. Well, I... <laughs> Well, I like gossip about this chicken head. I was like, uh-uh, sis. Nah, you bugging. All right, let's try. <laughs> Absolutely funny. Yeah, so, I mean, y'all know my moderator, Vanessa, she be in here, but when she got something to do, I'll be like, oh my God, oh my God, I need you to come over here so you can play bingo. Like what? Like what? Make it make sense, sis. Make it make sense. Got people in there, B1, B2, B12. If you don't sit down... If you don't sit down, <laughs> Ooh, you know what? <laughs> oh man! If you don't sit down, okay. And then had the nerve to be mad because somebody filled me in on her gossiping. You know, God don't like ugly, okay? God don't like ugly. Cause somebody told me that you was in there gossiping. You know what I'm saying? Like she was in there gossiping for real. I was like, huh? How you gossiping? How you how you loud, lonely, and wrong? <laughs> you just sad, sis. You sad. Okay. That that got me tight. <laughs> That had me tight, okay? That had me too tight. I was like, uh-uh. All right, uh, I want to get, I want to, like, build up a little bit right here. So, Yo, I can't believe it. I could not believe it. I cannot believe it, okay? It was, like, unbelievable. I was like, uh-uh. I was like, uh-uh, you doing too much now. You go straight to hell. Wrong and strong. You feel me? <laughs> Wrong and strong. Like, since you need to sit down. Sit down. Okay? This is not 1912. I'm out here playing bingo with you. And I can be out doing something else. And if she, and you know what? And I wouldn't even, I wouldn't even have said nothing. I would have let her do her thing. Like, okay, 
Cool. You want to be out there playing bingo, looking dumb and dumb and strong, wrong and strong? Okay, cool. But the fact that she tried to get nasty, like, uh, oh, and then if you don't show up to my bingo night, I'm going to give you a demerit. Like, what? I don't work for you, ma'am. <laughs> Woo! I do not work for you, ma'am. I don't. Like, you're not paying me. Where's my W-2? What are you talking about? Like, what are you even talking about? You know what I'm saying? Just, just... <laughs> wrong. Just all wrong. You know what I'm saying? Like, get your life together. This instant. Like if I need to hook you up with some with somebody, let me know. Cause you, that this ain't it. This is not it, okay? <laughs> oh man, man, man! I can't. All right, let's put some eyelashes in, and then we're gonna wrap it up. I'm feeling, I'm feeling the vibes. I like how it looks. It's loose and beautiful. And all the things. I want you guys to let me know how you feel about it below. Um, I want to get my detail brush. And we're going to put in her eyelashes. Because it's not complete. We have some sort of eyelash. Yeah, but she was... Like, okay, sis, I'm gonna pray for you. Alright, so I'm just lifting my brush. So we can get like these delicate kind of. Ooh. Damn, y'all probably didn't even see that. Did y'all see that? Sorry, guys. I'm always hitting my thing with this head tie. Y'all didn't even see that, probably. So I'm just. I'm going down with my brush, and then I'm just, like, lifting up very slightly. Wait, hold on. Y'all see it? Going down with my brush, and lift up. Down, lift. Down, lift. Down, lift. Y'all see that? Lovely painting. Thanks. I enjoyed the live. As usual, thank you so much. I'm glad you enjoyed it. So glad you enjoyed it. And I'm doing the same thing here. Except it's going to be like in the, in the um, separate direction. Right? And, and I mean, that's the fun part. You can add whatever you want. Um... And I'm gonna go here.
and we can zoom out. We can zoom into one out. I don't like that one weird building right there. So we Yeah, but the audacity of some people. Like, people need to be grateful when you do things for them. You know what I mean? Like, people... Like, I'll be grateful. I'm always grateful when somebody come in and do stuff for me. Especially when I'm asking for them to do it for free. Like, what? Huh? So you can go in and actually cover... That back piece up if you want to. I did. Cover up, baby, cover her up. Yeah, I can kind of see what's going on. Okay. And that is that, you guys. That is that. That's a ramp. Y'all can always go back in. Like, again, you guys can always go in and do a lot of different details and stuff like that. You know what I'm saying? Yay! So you guys can always go in and do a lot of, um, hold on, let me put this down. Ha! You can always go in and do a lot of different details and stuff like that. Add extra layers, add more and more and more. And the more you add, the more realistic it'll be. You can always change the color of her dress and do a lot of different things. Again, if you want to support the channel, you can head over to patreon.com slash creative girl of color. All the links are in the bio. I'm going to be putting timestamps for those of you that want to re-watch it or you're watching it for the first time and all the things. And as usual, I love you guys so, so much. We're going to be back here at the same time, same place every Sunday for another Sketchbook Sundays. So make sure you put down below. And don't forget to like this, to like, the, like the video. Like the video. Like it because it is the best thing on earth to do. <laughs> Thank you to everybody that tuned in. I love you guys so, so much. And I will catch you guys. Uh, and I will catch you guys on the next one. Bye.